Look who's in America! We made it to America last night. Um, this morning, woke up. The kids actually slept pretty well. Our first stops today have been Target for essentials like Chick -fil -A. diapers, etc. And then Chick-fil-A, always one of the places that we are most excited to go. How do those nuggets taste, Harper? How do those nuggets taste, Jackson? Good. Good. Fries pretty good too? Yummy. So we will be home for about three weeks. We are very, very excited for this little mid-season visit and break. We have a couple of things that are exciting coming up while we're home, including Jackson's second birthday party. And we're excited to be here. We're missing daddy, right? He had to stay because it's still mid-basketball season for him, but we're still going to enjoy being home for a while, right? Yeah. So we had our Target run. We went to Chick-fil-A and we napped. Probably longer than we should have, thanks to jet lag. It is now What's jet lag. Jet lag is when you come back or you go to a country that has a different time, and your body has to get used to to the time. So it is now about four p.m. here in Atlanta, and we are about to play with Collins when she gets back. Yes, they are very excited to see all of their friends, including Collins. And like I was saying, it's about four p.m. here in Atlanta, which means it is gosh one a.m. I guess in Dubai. So needless to say, feels a little wonky. The kids, of course, got a couple of toys at Target because <laughs> they can't go in there without getting something just like their mama and so we're about to open up their new toys. Yay! Okay, so let's open this babies one. first, okay? Don't cut my babies. Wow. Ah. Let's see. Hey Jackson, look! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, mommy, yeah, you can't yeah, even yeah. walk. Mm -hmm. Little baby. Hey, okay, Harper, oh, here's sweet. your baby. Wow. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, guys. Happy, happy Friday. We have been home for, gosh, what is this, day three? And, of course, we are thoroughly enjoying, like, being back in our house, so back in our own space, own beds, all that stuff. We've also seen family, which has been nice. We have the kids' nana, my god mom, staying with us for a couple of days, which is just always so much fun for, you know, the kids to get to spend some time for her, me to get to spend some time with her, and also to have help with the kids is also really, really nice. This morning, Harper and Jackson had play dates at one of the private schools that we're applying for them to go to next school year. Harper will be starting kindergarten and it was always our plan to give her a little bit more stability when she started real school. So that means that we will likely be spending more time in the U.S. and less time abroad as she gets older. These play dates, as they call them, are pretty much like school assessments and so of course I was a little bit nervous but both kids seemed to knock it out of the park. You know, the teachers came back and told me that, you know, they felt right at home, that they did well and, you know, participated with the rest of the group and all of that stuff. So I'm really proud of them. We are applying to three schools for Harper, just one for Jackson. And it is my hope, obviously, that Harper will get into all three so that basically she'll be able to pick the one that she likes the best. And hopefully that lines up with the one that we think will be best for her. That is the real reason why we came home was so that she could have these private school assessments. And so I'm really, really hoping that they go well. Now Harper's downstairs getting her hair braided while Jackson takes his nap. I love that I do not have to be solely responsible for her and my hair care while we are home. So I'm taking full advantage of the fact that we have our braider here. She's braiding Harper's hair up into a cute little braided ponytail. I can't wait to show you guys how that comes out. Okay, so we are settling in for a little family movie night, but I wanted to show you guys Harper's hair. It's all done. Can you say hello, Harper? Hello. 
Do you like your hair? Uh-huh. Okay, let's show them. And my squishy paw. So she has a heart on the top, perfect for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And a cute, long... Don't pull my hair. Oh, I won't. Mm -hmm. Big girl ponytail. <laughs> Shout out to our braider. Who braids your hair? Miss Sadie. Hey, Jackson. Do you like Harper's hair? How does it look? How does it look? Oh, your hair looks very good, too. All right, you guys ready for a little movie? Yeah! Good morning. Hey, good morning. Harper and I vlogging live from Waffle House this morning, a little Sunday morning ritual when we are home is to pick up Waffle House breakfast. So that is one of the restaurants that we have to eat at when we're home. We've had our Chick-fil-A, we've had our wings. Waffle House for breakfast is number three. So Jackson is at home still asleep with his Nana there to watch him. Harper and I are picking up our Waffle House and then we will head home to eat. And surprise, surprise, Harper somehow did not remember what grits are. She asked me what grits were. And so I'm feeling like a little bit of a failure. I just told her mom, we're going to have to get this girl some grits, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are so yummy. Are they sweet? No. Well, some people like them sweet, but mom likes them with butter, salt, and cheese. That sound yummy? Yeah. yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's coming at you live and direct from my kitchen. I am getting the kids breakfast ready. I already got their lunches and backpacks ready to go. Today is their first day of school back in America. And ever since Harper found out we were coming home for this like little short visit. She has been so excited to go back to her school here and see her friends. You know, even though they both love their international school in the UAE, there's just nothing like their preschool here that they know and love and have been going to for a while. So I'm gonna finish getting their breakfast together and then get them up to get ready for the day. Yes. Are you ready to get ready for school? Yes, Mommy. Are you excited to see your friends? Yes. Who are you most excited to see today? Lila. I know she's going to be so excited to see you, too. You want to get ready? Lila and Skyler. Uh, yeah. Let's get ready to start the day, baby girl. Sorry, Mom. my nails tail. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. We can redo them. Okay. Mama, sometimes my eyes hurt. Yeah. You good? Not right now. Okay, go ahead and wash your face and brush your teeth. Okay, girlfriend? Okay. Okay, so the kids have officially been dropped off at school. Of course, they had to have a little dance party after they finished their breakfast, and then I loaded them in the car and got them off. Harper was a little bit nervous when we got there. She was like, I'm a little shy because I haven't seen my friends in a while, but it was so sweet when I walked them in, like, 
members of Harper's class ran out of the door and they were like, Harper, we missed you, which just melted my heart as a mom just to know that she was missed. Of course, Jackson had some feelings about <laughs> going to school. He's only one, you know, going on to and so of course like spending three months away from somewhere is a little bit bigger for him than it is Harper. Like Harper still remembers it 100%, remembers her friends, remembers her teachers. Whereas for Jackson, this probably feels like the first day of school all over again. I am sure that he will settle in and have a great day. I grab a cup of coffee from my favorite local coffee shop because I earned it after wrangling the kids this morning. And then now I'm gonna go walk around Target by myself because even though I went to Target with the kids a few days ago, all the moms know there's nothing like walking around Target solo. All right, I have been to Target. I have cooked dinner. I have showered and washed my hair. I have edited a video. I have gotten so much done while the kids were at school and I am back to pick them up. I cannot wait to hear how their first day back went. I am extremely glad that I went ahead and cooked dinner before picking the kids up because both kids were very, very hungry after school, right? Yeah? Yeah. Did you guys have a great day? Yeah! Yeah! What was your favorite part of the day, Harper? Everything and everything and everything. Really? Were your friends so excited to see you? What kind of things did you learn today? All the things. All the things? Jackson, what was your favorite part of the day? All the things. Everything? Yeah. Who did you play with? Um, my friends. Your friends? Yeah. I'm so happy that you guys had a good first day back. I'm running. You were running? Yeah. Really? I'm running up. Did you saw Harper? Yeah. Did when you see? I, when I, I was like putting my snack, I was like my snack, like my, like my snack away or something. But that and, and and he saw me. Really? I think I was putting my hands in my hat. Yeah. And he was like looking at the door and he saw me. Really? Were you happy to see each other? That's awesome. I'm so happy you guys had a good day. I know that your friends and teachers were so happy to see you. We have another daughter's night tonight. We have some lobster and some, um, what is that brand? Baked potatoes. Baked potatoes. And of course, wine. wine. So this is one of my highlights of being home is getting to spend time with my bestie over here. We haven't seen each other besides like, you know, this week, obviously, for a few months since I've been abroad, which is not like us. I know. We this usually like torture. <laughs> don't go a few months without seeing each other. So tonight we are having a little mother-daughter wine night. I haven't really like recorded a whole lot this week just because with the kids starting back at school I have been super super busy and all over the place but I wanted you guys to spend a little bit of time with me and Cindy this Yay. evening as we have our wine night yes, and the kitties are already asleep already asleep so it's just mama and daughter time yes and I get to be the daughter and not the mama which is always fun <laughs> I'm sure In true daughter fashion, I am enjoying my wine and letting my mom do the cooking for me. <laughs> well, it's not necessarily cooking because people at the airport when I come from Boston think I be smuggling drugs, I think, because I have all this frozen lobster <laughs> in my, in my carry-on Smuggling back lobster from Boston. <laughs> this is such a thing that only my mother would do. I know. But I appreciate I it. I know. It's like a, I, I want to say a black thing, but probably anybody would do that. Because, I mean, it's cheaper up there, too, so. And it's it's Maine lobster. It's Maine lobster. It's already cooked, so all you got to do is, like, melt a little butter and whatever. I like to, like, put my in the skillet with the butter a little bit just to you know, I don't like it like cold, cold. Mm -hmm. So I do that, put a little garlic um, salt. I mean, a little garlic butter, garlic or whatever on there. Mm -hmm. a Lemon. Bit more flavoring, so. Yummy. And here we go. Delicious, delicious, delicious lobster. Mm. I haven't had lobster in a while either. Really? All right, y'all, dinner is served. We have our lobster and I have a baked potato. My mom is just straight lobster, lobster this evening. And we are just gonna 
sit and veg out, maybe watch the new season of The Bachelor, have some yeah. girls talk, and chill. Yep, sounds good to me. <laughs> As the kids would say, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>2 weeks since the kids and I have been at home visiting from the UAE and I honestly have been forgetting to pick up the camera and vlog because we have been so so busy. The kids just picked right up where they left off in terms of school and hanging out with friends and all of that stuff and we have just been like soaking up our time here in our community, our time here with family and just having such a nice time being home for a change. Harper had a tea party on Saturday with her auntie Coco. She had been asking to have a tea party with her auntie for the longest and I'm so glad they finally got to do it. She had a blast and it's just like the little things like that that make being at home so special. You know the tea party just made her day and getting that time with her aunt was so so special. So yeah we have about a week and a half left before we head back to the UAE and I am just gonna continue to soak up this precious time at home with family and try to fill our cup with all this family time before we head overseas again.